we are going to discuss about the leech reproductive system in structural organization of animals unit 13 chapter 13 in biology. So already we have discussed the several systems of leech and today we are going to discuss about the reproductive system. Leech is a hermaphrodite animal or insect. Hermaphrodite means both the male and female sexes are present in the same organism. It is called same organism or same animal. It is called hermaphrodite animal. Male reproductive system. So in male reproductive system, testis is the male reproductive organ. Okay. So there are 11 pairs of testes. So 11 pairs of testes start from which segment to which segment means from 12th segment to 22nd segment that is 12th to 22 segments uh, that is from 12th segment to 22 segments you have 11 pairs of segment in each segment one pair of testes is seen and they form a spherical sacs that is called testes sacs so the they form a bag like that is bag like structure called testes sacs so the testes has a short duct that duct is called vas efferens and this vas efferens is joined with vas deferens okay so the vas deferens become convoluted become complicated to form epidemics the epidemics is the storage of spermatozoa and it is also called as sperm vesicle so the epidemics that is vas differentia becomes convoluted that is complicated structure to form a bag like structure to store the sperms that is called epidemics the epidemics leads to a short duct called ejectillary duct so the sperm will be that is ejected from the epidemics through a duct called ejectillary that is ejectillary duct the ejectillary duct it is joined on both the sides with the, to form a genital atrium so the ejectillary ducts are joined on both the sides to form a genital atrium so the atrium has two regions that is coiled prostate gland and penal sac so the penal sac consists of penis which opens through the male genital pore so keep it in mind it has seven that is 11 pairs of testes and they are seen in a bag like structure called testis sacs and it is that is it has a short tube called the testis forms a short duct like structure called vas efferens this vas efferens is connected with the joint with the vas deferens so the vas deferens forms a convoluted structure called epidemics where the spermatozoa is stored okay the spermatozoa is stored due to the spermatozoa storage it is called as sperm vesicle and the epidemics leads to the formation of a duct like structure called ejectillary duct so the ejectillary duct means it ejects the sperm and it has two duct glands coiled one is prostate gland and a penal sac so okay so this is the structure of the male reproductive structure that is male reproductive system so the you can see here the okay you can see here this one uh, the eyes in the first that is first five segments we leave it off and this is the first segment nephridia and it is the atrium that is the penis that is ejectory duct forms the atrium you can see the epidemics which stores the sperms and the testis sac okay testis sac where the testis is seen okay and the next portion is vas differentia you can see this vas differentia and the 11th nephridium that is the 11 that is 11 pairs of testis is seen okay so this is the portion you can see Okay, this is the male reproductive structural organs and female reproductive organ we are going to see in the next slide the ovary, 
okay you can see the ovary here and the vagina okay and the oviduct is also seen there is here but it is but it is not clear in this okay so the next part is female reproductive system so female reproductive system means ovaries oviducts and vagina okay ovary oviducts and vagina so as the testes are 11 the testes how many uh, pairs of testes means 11 pairs of testes is seen from 12th to 22nd but the ovary is seen that is single pair of ovary is seen in the 11th segment of the ventral side that is back side of the leech okay ventral means back side okay 11th segment a single pair of ovaries are seen so each ovary is coiled a ribbon like structure so the ribbon shaped structure the ovary is coiled ribbon shaped structure and the ova ova is nothing but the egg it is formed from the ovary okay and the ovary runs to a short tube called oviduct okay it runs through that is the, the ovary has a short tube called oviduct so the oviducts of two sides because two see ours that is single pair means two ovaries okay so they runs together to form a single tube common tube that is two sides the oviducts are say, there and they join to form a single oviduct so the common oviduct that is the common oviducts open into a pear shaped vagina so pear shaped vagina which is seen in the 11th segment posterior means back side of the 11th segment you can see the vagina there the oviduct is connected now the development so the development it is the internal fertilization so it takes place inside the body because both the sexes are seen in a same animal because of that the fertilization is internal so the cocoon formation is formed okay after internal fertilization the cocoon formation is takes place so the cocoon is called as the egg case how the the hen ends egg shell no like that this cocoon is acting as an egg case and it is surrounded that is it is formed from the uh, formed from 9th 10th and 11th segment so it is where the cocoon is formed is seen in 9th and 10th and 11th segments the development is direct only because the cocoon contains 24 1 to 24 embryos so this they may ask in your one mark so 1 to 24 embryos are seen in the cocoon stage of a that is cocoon cocoon in the leech okay so the young leech resembles the adult emerges as the adult leech the young leech is also seen okay so this is the development stage hope you understand the video if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel